Hello friends, let's see another topic today. <clears throat> How you can manage two uh, different, uh, you know, division or branch sales and how you can track its, uh, you know, profitability inside Odoo. So to divide that, what I am doing right now uh, is dividing it by journals. Normally people do have, you know, sales team. By sales team, we can uh, divide, you know, our teams. Uh, but in account, uh, you cannot divide uh, which sales team, you know, is performing in terms of profitability uh, towards different division. So in accounting, I have created two separate journals. One is branch one sales, another one is branch two sales. Here, the branch one sales is journal name and type is sales, and I have created a different, uh, you know, income account than our other account. So different income account is branch one sales, which is again a type of income account. And when I am looking at branch two sales, I have created separate account OS branch two sales. Is, which is again an income this is not it but you also have to make sure when you create your product categories you have to make it a division so here i have two different you know uh, product which i am taking into example is cheese and pr1 let's say in this category i have to keep it uh, this particular configuration income account is blank so when this is blank, it will go and collect the account configuration from my journals. Same way, I have another category trade, which again I have keep income account is blank. And I have dealing with, you know, different products. So beer, bottle, cookies, I am taking an example right now. So let's say I'm making a new sales order for my customer one, who is coming into branch one and asking for beer bottle and cheese in other info i am taking this journal as a branch one sales okay i confirm this order and uh, i plan the delivery of this order and i create invoice so here you can see the beer bottle and cheese are registered under branch one sales directly and I confirm the invoice. Same way, same customer is coming again and asking for cookie and beer bottle from my branch two. I confirm the sale as I don't have stock it will trigger a PO I confirm my PO I receive the product I set quantities I validate my receive and in sales I am going to deliver this item now I'm going to delivery set the quantities and validate it now in SO if I'm creating a simple invoice it is let me check uh, it is branch one that's why it is going into again you know uh, branch one sales so this so i am confirm and going into branch one okay now i am taking customer two who is inquiring Make it cheese let's say cookie and a beer bottle and in other info I'm making it to branch two sales I, when I save it yeah, so now branch two sales has been set as a journal I confirm this order it is branch two only I go to purchase I confirm my purchase order I am receiving the product. I am going into sales and then deliver my product. And here, when I create an invoice, it is going to register my sales under branch two sales. Okay. 
okay so this way now if you go to your account and see the journals it is going to show you branch one sales in total and if you go to here branch two sales this is not it i have make a custom column in sales also which defined by you know journal so you can group by journal to say your sales order by branches branch one and branch two sales okay and in here in account now when you run your trial balance you can clearly see total figure of branch one for all the invoices and total figure of branch two and here you can see the clear you know uh, income accounts branch wise to see branch wise sales uh, report and sales efficiency hope this will help uh, different businesses who are uh, making sales from different location different branch and need to uh, see the sales volume and sales figure uh, income account wise into different branch hope this will help thank you